G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this morning we're heading up to, over here, up the top there, Mount Wellington. We've just uh, fueled up and just left the city, so gonna make our way up the top. It's not a bad day, it's a little windy, so not sure if I'll be able to get the drone up, but see how we go. Well, we're only five minutes out of the city and here we are. That's the uh, beauty of Tasmania, you don't have to travel very far to get out of the mainstream traffic. About another five minutes to go to the turn off to the mountain and then we'll uh, head up. This place is known as Fern Tree, which is the uh, basically the, uh, the top end as you come up out of town before you start to head towards the wilderness. This also takes you through the old, this is the old road down to Hulmville, which is down the uh, heading down towards the southwest of Tasmania. So if you've got uh, a couple of hours one morning and you're based in Hobart for the day, it's uh, certainly worth a look up here. A lot of people do come up here and make this trip, especially in the winter time when there's plenty of snow about. As you can see, it's rainforest type area, a lot of ferns. Quite busy for a Tuesday morning. Now we start the climb. At the moment we're about 14 kilometres up from the city. It's uh, just coming up near the Springs area, which is a, um, in the winter time basically where they close the gates when it's really bad. There's a lot of barbecue area up here, so even just to come up this far and have a barbecue for those, a lot of people do that. A lot of walking tracks this way too, so if you're into bush walking, there's plenty to do. It does get quite dangerous up here in the winter time with all the snow so you can see why they uh, close the road off with the amount of cars that they've got to make their way up and down through here. But if you're into photography and you're into a good sunset, this is uh, or a sunrise, either or, it's a great spot to come to. quite rugged and spectacular further up here too, it's really, really nice. You get a lot of tourist buses up this way as well, so just be mindful of that. We sort of turn around and come back the other way towards the pinnacle so we sort of headed up on a bit of a 45 degree angle to the mountain now we're sort of doubling back on our sills and up to the last stage you see the amount of snow we get up here by the height of the depth indicators on the guideposts And this is the uh, top of Mount Wellington, Pinnacle. Just walk down to the observation area and have a bit of a look and show the city. Up there you can uh, you can get in out of the weather and have a bit of a look. This is quite a bit of um, 
reading to do as far as what's where. Down through here is the uh, city of Hobart, the main CBD of Hobart. Uh, you can see in the distance the Rest Point Casino just off the shore there. That's where they do the Point to Pinnacle, which is a marathon race that starts down there and makes its way up to here. The uh, Tasman Bridge, which links the eastern shore to the western shore. In the far distance, you've got the uh, Hobart International Airport. They're the northern suburbs of uh, Hobart and the Derwent River that winds its way down through out into the ocean. And you can imagine up here in the middle of winter, this place is absolutely covered, probably waist deep here in snow. And you get a sunrise out through this way, so if you feel like getting up bright and early and up here with your camera and tripod, you get an amazing sunrise. Well, I'm just heading back down to the city now and uh, if you've got a couple of hours spare one morning and uh, it's not a bad day for, for photography uh, come on up and have a look it doesn't take that long to ride I think it took me maybe 25 minutes half an hour to get up here from the city it's not far but you can see uh, how spectacular the view would be on, on a really clear day or an early sunrise so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more videos as I post them. So until next time, ride safe, talk soon.